My daughter was fascinated by ribbon wands, so I decided to make her a few. The first one is from a scrap of chiffon fabric, and then I have five other ones made with a rainbow sheer fabric. Let me show you the different designs and what makes them a little different. First one is chiffon fabric. This is just scrap fabric. I attached it with electrical tape to a ribbon to a safety pin and a chopstick. I would say I like this fabric the most. It's nice and silky, it's fast. The first one I made, 18 inches of fabric. I did a rolled hem. There's a triangle up here and a somewhat of a triangle up here and a whip cracker at the end to give it just a little bit more snap. I think it's about like four feet. Here's your volley, front crack to back crack. It could do a little snap, it's a little bit more showy because it's wider, but I wanted to get something that was a little silkier. So I made a huge tube out of that 18 inches of fabric and I was thinking it'd be more like a windsock. You don't have to really worry about hurting someone with this because it's so slow. I made a smaller tube, slightly smaller, a little bit lighter, a little bit faster. So you can always like experiment with different sizes. Tornado! So my favorite ones are the ones I actually thought of the design of a windsock in which it's wider at one point and skinnier at the end point. I basically had to taper the fabric which takes a little bit of work. I have two of these. This is the smaller one and this is the wider one. Here's the smaller one. It's a little better. I mean, it's very minor. Just the most aerodynamic out of all of them. So this will be the design of my last one. So there's all the six different designs that I have, and I'm gonna show you how to make this one. First thing you need is a picture frame ice screw. It's basically just a super tiny ice screw. And we're gonna open it up. Put one end in the pliers, open it on the other side, and you just twist it a little bit just to open it up. You have two choices of fishing swivels. This one's called a barrel swivel, and this is a different one. It's a little simpler to use because it's like a safety pin at one end, and so when you're done with your tunnel, all you have to do is clip it on. If you use the barrel swivel, you have to get creative. Since I had that triangle on top, I just folded it over and sewed it on. For the other one, I just did a bunt line hitch, melted it like paracord, and that's how I attached it. What I like about the barrel swivel is it seems more durable than this one because I broke the other one. It just broke off. I do like durability, so I'll probably be using this one for the next one. Get your swivel, close it back up, just like you would do a jump ring. There. That's it. This is a 3 8 inch dowel that we cut to 12 inches in length and we painted. Aveline liked the 3 8 inch diameter versus the half inch diameter. I'm gonna put this eye screw at the very end and just twist it in. Once you have it in, you could just do that, which makes it a little easier. And there we go. And that helps the fabric from twisting up too much. I bought this rainbow sheer fabric from Hobby Lobby. I originally bought four yards, thinking four yards would have been a good size for her and it was way too long. Basically, you should go with two yards and that means you can split up the fabric into three long strips, which is totally difficult to do. I laid it out, I tried cutting it straight, and I don't know, the fabric just moves and you, it's like impossible to get a straight edge over that much of a length. Which is okay because I'm gonna cut it again. So to cut your fabric so it's tapered, fold it in half where it's kind of just in its relaxed state. Take some quick clips. These work really well with this fabric. What I'm gonna do is just pin it where it seems to lie flat naturally. Three like six inches. I'm just gonna pin it on the fold so it stays in half. Even though I thought I was cutting it straight, it was definitely not straight, but it's okay because I'm gonna cut it down. Basically, I'm dividing all this fabric into four pieces, and what I wanna do is decrease it by one inch. I'm gonna line up this fold on this line here, put some weights down. The whole goal is just to taper the fabric so it's decreasing by four inches total. Four inches, that's one inch per section. I'm gonna find where I can do that, which looks like right here. I'm gonna take my straight edge, match it up to this point here. For first edge, that's down one inch, and then there's the top of the inch. Make sense? <laughs> Good, it makes sense. It's just decreasing by one inch every four sections.
What you're gonna get when that's all done is fabric that is 16 inches wide at one end and at the other end, it's gonna be significantly smaller with nine inches. Now it's time to make the tube. So I've tried it different ways and in different orders and this is the best order that I've found, which is that you fold your fabric in half. I'm gonna close up the seam with just a double rolled hem. Fold it once, fold it again, and I'm gonna use my clips to pin it just, just for the very beginning. If you do this the whole length, it won't stay in place. So it doesn't make sense to even do it. I'm gonna put it through the sewing machine now. Here's my double rolled hem. It's about 3 8 inches across and it'll probably become half inch down the line. I'm just gonna try to get it really close to this edge here. And once I get to that part, this is when you start rolling it. Match up these two sides, pinch it here, then tuck it in there, pull it taut, and then I just keep stitching. And then once I get to the end, I do it again. Bends line up, roll it, keep it taut, keep it thin, hold it down, and then go forward. It looks pretty okay. <gasps> I'm done. Now to do the end of the tube, I'm gonna cut this. You gotta make sure that the fabric is in its natural state where it wants to lie. See, I'm trying to make sure it's like not being pulled in either direction. Helps to weight it down at one end. Right about there is where the end will be. What I'm gonna try to do is like fold it, kind of like I'd fold the cuffs of my sleeve. I'm gonna roll it one more time, try to make it nice and thin. So I'm gonna pin this down. You can fold it over like I do, just run it through your sewing machine. Notice how this seam right here doesn't line up. I could technically just leave it like that, but what I've been doing is doing it a second time. Now double it again, and then double it one more time. I clip that down. Sew it again. Okay, so this is how it looks like now with the second rolled hem. It's a lot more stiffer. I'm gonna do the same thing to the end piece. Here is how it looks like. I'm gonna do it one more time. Roll it twice. Roll it again. Clip it and sew it. Okay, this is how it looks like with the second rolled hem. Here's how this whole tunnel looks. Right now it's inside out. So you wanna make it right side in. Big end is where the stick goes, small end is the very end. I am going to take my awl, I'm gonna make a hole where the seam is, just through both sides. I'm taking this red cord that I have, I put that through the hole. So look, they're all together now. And how I do a hitch, I make what looks like a letter P, and then I take my fingers to the hole, and just do that. One hitch, do it again. Oh, if you do it the opposite way, that's a butt line hitch, which tends to jam, which is what you'd want, right? Doesn't matter. Tie it however you want. Cut about a quarter inch away. Burn it until it's nice and melty. Push your lighter in at one end, which gives it kind of a flat mushroom shape that won't undo itself. Same thing with this end, about a quarter inch. Melt it. So it looks really nice and melty. Okay, wait till it cools a little bit and then smash it. <laughs> that shouldn't come undone. Oh my God, it's done! Wow. It's my shirt. Oh, look how fast it is. You really don't really have to worry about a child hurting someone else with this. You do have to worry about the stick hitting them in the face. Here's all of them. Can I do the Doctor Strange? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, and it could be a nice scarf. If you so desire and wanted to have more of a snap, you could do the hole with the awl and, and weave a whip cracker through the hole. Well, it gives it a little bit of a snap. This is the one without the whip cracker. That's the one with the cracker. If you wanna add a little snap, add a whip cracker to the end. Which ones do you want? You could choose two. I could choose this one. <laughs> you hear that crack that I did? Yeah, I could hear it. Stop! Whip fight. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew, pew. 